Hey guys, let's talk about how to play the very first song off my latest album, Shane Spiel and the Snake, Stay Primal. Boom, there it is. The song is Drinking Beer. And it is an old uh, Jimmy Witherspoon swing blues song. And we wanted to tackle it in the jug band way. So what we did was instead of using horns and everything else, we used cigar box guitars, harmonica, washboard, and things like that. But we gave it a swing beat. And we gave it this riff of... <laughs> So we're going to teach you how to do that today. First of all, for drinking beer, Shane Spiel and the Snakes, you need to know it is tuned to an F. The whole song is done blues style in the key of F. So if you have a four-string cigar box guitar, let's get this thing tuned up right. It's F, C, F, A. Low to high, F, C, F, A. Now it's a little low, and the strings are pretty floppy on this guitar, which is the way we did it in concert, or which is the way we did it on the album. Uh, and if you'll notice, it goes out of tune here and there. Instead of battling against that, we embraced the guitar going a little bit out of tune. It adds to the jug band sound. So, we got a tune to an open F. F, C, F, A. Okay, the first riff is pretty simple. What we're going to do is uh, we are going to start at the fifth fret, and you're going to use two fingers. Boom. Fifth fret, you're going to take your first finger, put it on the second string, fifth fret. You're going to take your middle finger, put it on the last string, fifth fret. Oh, we went out of tune. Okay. See that? We got first finger, second string, second finger, last string. All up on the fifth fret. In fact, there's a little dot here to tell me where the fifth fret is. And then we're going to take those two fingers like a claw, and let's move them down to the third fret. Back up to the fifth. To the third. Now here's that lick. You're only using these two fingers. But you have to get the rhythm. It's dan da 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 And then ba da ba da That's where I let my fingers go. Now you're going to want to try this slow for a while. And then the second part, since it's blues, it is what they call the 1-4-5 chords. So it goes F, from the F chord to the... Uh, a sharp, B flat, to the uh, C chord. So, second chord, we're going to put our finger the whole way across the fifth fret. Let me show you that little riff I do there. That's sort of a Keith Richards riff. The finger is going to go the whole way across the fifth fret. And then you're going to take your ring finger. And you're going to put it on the second string on two frets up from where your finger is barred. So it's the seventh fret. And then you're going to take this middle finger and you're going to put it on the high string one fret up from where your finger is barred which is the 6th fret. So we're going to do this. Let's get it even closer. See that? Now 
Now, let me tell you why that's Keith Richards style. Because Keith Richards would tune to an open G, which is very similar to this, and he'd do... <laughs> See, so it's a Keith Richards style, but whenever we're doing drinking beers, when we go to here, it adds to that swing. So let's get back to this. So we're doing the bar across the fifth. We're going to do the ring finger, second string, two frets up, middle finger, last string, one fret up. And then I let everything go of these two fingers and I take my pinky and I put it one, two, three frets up from this bar. So that would be the eighth fret on the high string. Let me open up the camera a little bit. And then I go back to the Keith Richards. Let me do that again. So whenever I'm playing it, it goes. And then I do the same thing at the seventh fret. So if you get it down right here, whenever we showed you the fifth fret here, whenever you go to the seventh, seventh fret, play the exact same thing. Move it back to the fifth, back to the opening riff. We always end it on the seventh fret, just the way blues is. So let me play the whole thing through, and I'm going to do it slow. So you'll see all these things put together. Here we go. simple but it gives you a new swing style to play so Drink a beer, drink it in the morning. For the chorus, I just, I don't play anything. I just let it scratch. Drink a beer, drink it in the morning. Drink a beer, drink it in the afternoon. Drink a beer, do whatever it takes. Drink a beer, drink it with my boys this snake. Wine is fine, give me lots of beer. Let me show you that very last part. That is so cool. It's so cool to add. All that is, is my middle finger and ring finger at the third fret, second string, last string. Boom. See that? Move it down one fret. Move down one fret. And now I'll take your hand off. Easy. And resolve it at the seventh fret. Go the whole way across. <laughs> there you go. That's how you play drinking beer. So my name is Shane Spiel. You can get the new album at shanespiel.com. Uh, they also have these on sale at cbgiddy.com. 
The guitar itself was made by G.S. Monroe. This is the Masterwork series sold at CBGiddy.com. I absolutely love this thing. T-shirt is the new Stubby Slide shirt. It is Scully. Scully is back. You can get this at StubbySlide.com. Thanks for watching. My name is Shane Spiel, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.